everyone. I'm looking for some inexpensive wrapping paper options for you this year. Stay tuned. I went out shopping to check on some various kinds of wrapping paper. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I really like wrapping. I also do handmade bows and I have several videos on this channel showing you how to make those. I'll link to some of those in the description box below the video and at the end of the video as well. So one of my favorite places to go is Hobby Lobby. They just have so much. And right now they have 50% off all of these things for Christmas. It's just wonderful. So I did pick up a roll. Um, I have a lot of rolls of wrapping paper, but this time I got something in pink because someone reminded me that she wrapped her gifts to go along with the colors in the room where the gifts were. So um, yeah, so I have a lot of pink in my in my tree. I have a pink tree. So I got this one and a lot of their, it, this particular one was um, 60 square feet for $4.49. So even though it's marked at $9, everything was half off. So that's seven and a half cents per square foot. You don't want to miss your local dollar stores to see what they have in store for Christmas wrap. So I got this one. This is one of their more pricey ones, but it's what they call hologra holog holographic. This one was actually 35 square feet for $3 or 8.6 cents per square foot. So slightly more than the Hobby Lobby. But they had plenty of others there for just a dollar or for $3 a bigger roll of just regular paper that didn't have all this glitziness. I also stopped by Party City. Now, they didn't have much roll wrap in Christmas colors, but anyway, they their prices per square foot range from $0.03 cents to $0.15, cents, just depending on how much you bought. I also went to Home Goods, and they had two sizes of roll wrap. One was 25 square feet, and the other was 30 square feet, and they were all $2.99, making theirs um, per square foot between 10 cents and 12 cents. Then I stopped at Joann's, um, I used to call it Joann's Fabrics, but a little smaller than a Hobby Lobby, but you know, some similar things. They had rolls that were 45 square feet for $2.50, making theirs five and a half cents per square foot. So that was a really good deal. Now, my last new purchase was not a great deal itself, but I did have a 30% off coupon, and that was Hallmark. I love their paper because most of their papers on the inside have grid lines on the wrong side of the paper, so you can always cut straight. I liked um, this particular holly one. I like something that has a little bit of red and quite a bit of green, and then I love red ribbons on packages. Now here's a package that I already wrapped. Um, in the past, I bought these plain tags from Hobby Lobby, and then I bought these poinsettia stickers. Now they didn't have these in the regular aisles toward the front where they have all the other Christmas wrapping things. These were back in the back part of the store where the Christmas crafts were, but they're sticky. So you just pull one off of its backing and press it on there and then write your note. And then I used a thin ribbon to attach it. You can see I have a single ribbon bow here and then I had some of this wired, almost ornament looking that came off a roll. I use a wider cutters to cut them off and then I just tied it onto the bow. So if you wanna to learn to make bows like this, I'll link to some videos showing you how to make it. You should start with a narrower, um, what we call a number three inch, a uh, number three. Um, this is called number nine in the wider, but just to get some practice making them. I've been making them for years. I couldn't make them last year because of my hand surgery, but you know what? I could make them again this year. So check out some of those other videos by clicking one of the images on the right side of your screen or mouse over in the upper right hand corner, a little eye appears and you can click it and see some other videos you might be interested in watching. And thanks for watching. Bye.